All right. How are we doing today? Well, I wanted to talk about miracles and how things are created. See, when God said, let there be, he never said, let there be water. If you notice that. And my theory is that as he spoke, something happened in the water that created the atoms, the, if you want to call them that, say, simply because that's what everybody calls it now. And the minerals to fall out of pure water as if they were in a solution. Now, I've seen a video where they've had the star to jar. Um, you can watch Hutchison Effect, uh, Schauberger, uh, Ken Wheeler. Uh, let's see who else. Anyway, there's several others out there that have the same thing, like Eric Dollard, things like that. But there was one particular video where the scientists claimed that they put frequencies into water and gold fell out in a solution. I ain't sure if that's real or not, but it gave me an idea. So, let's get back to miracles. Everything says that light is what makes things or everything is made out of frequencies so when you think about it are miracles really that mysterious are they really that unknown because all you need to do to basically have a miracle is come up with the right combination of frequencies and then the things will happen. And it's like somebody's arm growing back. Right? You can see this happening real, real slow. Or real, real fast. Or it may not happen at all. You look at geckos and things like that. Where you cut off their tail and it grows back. Then you hear about like the can of hard giant. And the bullet holes that were healing before they even got him killed. The frequencies modify the electric charges and things like that in order to manipulate everything the way you want it to. But the key is to find in the right combination of frequencies. And when you find the right combination, which I don't have the equipment to do, I think all kinds of miracles can happen. Back in the old days, ancient times, they used to have these healing chambers that they used to go into and lay down on this big pedestal rock like a picnic table looking thing in the middle of a freaking cave. And then they'd have little holes and chambers that would amplify any frequencies that they put into that chamber. And they could do this from outside the chamber through the holes. So think about that. Are miracles really that mysterious? Y'all have a good one. And you who bless.